Hello, hi everybody. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes for everyone to come on, but good morning, hello. Good morning, I hope you're okay. Hi, hi everybody. <clears throat> hello, lovely to see you all. Thank you to anyone who has joined me before in a live and th welcome to anyone who's not watched before. Everybody is welcome. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Hello, Billy and Jack. Good morning to everybody. I'm Claire. I run Play Hooray and I am hoping that I can help you to play today. You may have joined me in our lives that we did before in the first lockdown. It's going to be a little bit different today as uh, I now have a tiny baby at home who's sleeping. I know. So it's really lovely to see you. I'm a little bit nervous as um, it's been a long time <laughs> since I've been live um, and we're just going to have to see how it goes. All right. I imagine that some days I might be bouncing a baby. We'll just have to see. We're just going to see how it goes. Anyway, good morning. So hello to everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I would like to give all the boys and girls a big, big hello and good morning from me. My name is Claire and I run Play Hooray. Thank you very much, everybody. Can you tell me your name? Oh, I didn't hear it. Can you tell me your name again? Oh, fantastic. Well, welcome and hello to everybody. Good morning. So the idea is that I am going to give you some ideas. Hello, Henry. And Luke, good morning. Thank you, guys. Um, I am hoping to give you some ideas this morning to help you get playing at home because we all know play is amazing, isn't it? Are you good at playing? Yeah. Well, your grown-ups told me you were. So that's what we're going to do today is we're going to help you. I hope I can help you play and give you some new ideas of what you could do because play is fantastic. It's so good for us. It helps give us a healthy brain and it helps us to give us healthy bodies too. So we're all going to get playing this morning. So I hope you're ready. We've got Georgia and Liam and Jack and Aaron uh, Hallie and Charlie. I'm really sorry if I miss anybody. And Alex and Ben. Good morning to all of you. Hello. Hello, everybody. Really nice to see you. I'm Claire. And today I hope I can help you to get playing. Little bit different. I'm going to do a quick intro just to get started. Little bit different to the uh, the lives that I was doing last time in the first lockdown, because this time, rather than show you and play along with me, is I'm going to give you some ideas and then I want you at home to get playing and I will tell you what you need. So don't worry. All the ideas are going to be using things that you will most definitely have at home already and we're going to help each other by come up with some ways that we can play. Now then, you've joined me and I have got my play box here and in my play box is something that we're going to play with today. I hope it's going to spark your play. I hope it's going to give us lots of ideas for things that we can play today. Hello and good morning to all of you. I'm sorry I'm not saying it names individually. I'm very conscious that I have only have a 10 minute slot and a sleeping baby. So let's not push our luck today, seeing as it's our first live during lockdown, but hopefully we can do these every weekday and I can help you out. So here is my play box and I have got something that I want you to play with me today. But first of all, are you ready to play? I can't hear you. Are you ready to play? <laughs> That's fantastic. That was very loud. I heard you then. Yes, we're all ready to play, aren't we? So I play, you play, we all play. Hooray! Do you think you can say that with me? Should we try that one more time? I play, you play, we all play, hooray! Fantastic, one more time. I play, you play, we all play, hooray! Fantastic, well done James. I can hear that James is joining in this morning, fantastic. Okay, so first of all, there's something in my play box. I've brought something for us to play with and this is going to be something that hopefully sparks our play. So it's going to give us lots of ideas of things that we can do. Okay, so shall we, are you ready to have a look inside the box? Yeah? You ready? Oh, oh, it's good. It's good. I think you're going to like it. So let me have another look. Right, okay. 
There's something in this box that you might have used already this morning for your breakfast. Hmm, I wonder who's had breakfast this morning. Put your hands on your head if you had breakfast this morning. I hope you did for our healthy brains and our healthy bodies. I hope you did. So I've got something in this box you might have used for breakfast. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. You might have used it if you were eating cereal or if you were eating a yogurt. Hmm, I wonder if anyone can guess what might be in my play box. You can write it down if you want to. I don't know if there's an emoji for it, actually. I should have checked that, shouldn't I? But let's have a look. I'm going to open up the lid. And I'm going to see there's something in here. I wonder if you've guessed right. Can you tell your grown-up what you think it's going to be? What's that? Okay. That's one who just wants to say hello. 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 Who's this? Mason. Mason. This is Mason. Right, go on then, Mason. Mason's going to play as well this morning. So, Mason. Hello. That's it. I'm just talking to the boys and girls, okay? Can you sit there for me? Good boy. <laughs> Remember, it's live. This, I am not Blue Peter, so it might just be like this some days. Okay, so I've got lots of people guessing what's in the box. And I think I can see lots of people have guessed spoon and that is right this morning we're gonna have a go at playing with spoons mm. now then i wonder if you have spoons in your house i imagine that you do and in my box if you can move to the side a little bit mace thank you i've actually got lots of different types of spoon because often we have different types for different reasons don't we <laughs> thank you guys We've got lots of different types of spoons and I want to show you what I've got. Can you just move that way, Mace? Because I don't want to hit you by accident on the head with a spoon, do I? Oh. No, that wouldn't be very nice. Can you see I've got a tiny little spoon, a yeah. teaspoon. Can you be a little spoon? Can you, can you be a little spoon, Mace? Can you yeah. be a little spoon? That's it, be a little spoon. Can you be a little spoon as well? We've got a little spoon. I've got a medium-sized spoon. Can you be a medium-sized spoon, Mace? Oh, good. Fantastic. That's it. And then finally, I've got a big spoon. Can you be a big spoon? Oh, well done. We've got lots of big spoons. And Mason's showing us how he could be a big spoon. Fantastic. Now then, I wonder, I've got a big spoon medium spoon and little spoon that reminds me of a story can you think of a story with a daddy size spoon a mummy size spoon and a baby spoon um i think three little no uh Three family spoons. <laughs> Nearly. Good try. I was thinking, oh, there's a story called Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yeah. Have you ever heard that story? Do you know that story, Mace? Yeah. yeah. I used to read it at my pre preschool. That's right. And so you might have heard of that story. It's all about a little girl that goes in a house and she tries the porridge of Daddy Bear and Mummy Bear and Baby bear and she uses different types of spoons that i'm going to just shuffle you again just to one side mace fantastic so i wonder maybe you can find some spoons in your house i wonder if you can find a tiny spoon or maybe you've got some big spoons fantastic whatever you've got so maybe today we could use spoons in our play couldn't we so perhaps you might want to find different sized spoons like us and you could do the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Or you could take your spoons in the bath with you at bath time and you could use them in the water for lots of mixing, couldn't yeah. you? With and these pour spoons, in. This is the definitely one you could scoop up and then, and then put it put the water in there and then just dump it out. That's right, this one's a ladle, so you scoop this one quite differently, don't you? This is really good for soup. <gasps> maybe we could make soup today. We could make pretend soup with maybe some water. Yeah, I love soup. You like soup, do you? What kind of soup do you like? Oh, I like tomato soup. You like tomato soup. I'm sure lots of boys and girls like soup too. So we could maybe pretend that we're making soup with some pots and pans and some water and some big spoons and we could do some mixing, couldn't we? Yeah, this is how you normally mix. 
like that. That's right, fantastic. So we can do lots of different types of spoons lots of different types of play using our spoons so maybe in the water doing goldilocks and the three bears you could make porridge pretend make porridge couldn't you or you or could soup. You, or you could pretend you're you're at a restaurant and you're dr and you're eating soup that's a good like idea this. yeah i like that although maybe you can have a look in your house and find out how many spoons you've got i wonder how many spoons we've got in our house we've got about 200? <laughs> I'm not sure we've got 200. We could see how many spoons we've got in our house. So you maybe you could have a look with your grown-up and see how many spoons you've got. Maybe you could sort them by their size. You could do lots of different things. And spoons are also really great for banging. Banging! <laughs> yeah, if the grown-ups are feeling brave enough, you could use them with the pots and pans and good old banging, couldn't you? That's it. Lovely. Thanks, Maze. Think, think very carefully about that one. If you've got an outdoor space, maybe you could sit, take them outside and make mud pies and all sorts of things. So now we're going to give you time. Whilst I chat to Maze, I'd like to give you a little bit of thinking time to chat to your grown-up about what you might want to do with spoons today at home. So have a little chat with your grown-up and then maybe your grown-up could type in the box at the bottom and let us know what you're going to play with spoons at home today. What are we going to play? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're giving everyone having thinking time. Okay, so we're giving everybody thinking time. I wonder if anyone else at home has come up with some ideas of what you might want to play. Oh, I can see, that's all right. I can see that someone's gonna play with rice. That's a nice idea. Maybe a big box of rice. You could do some scooping, lovely. Yeah, like, you could pretend you're making something with, like you make, you can make like a pudding with rice and you can make, um, and you can, and you can get your parents to like help you with it. You could, I'm just gonna have a quick scroll back, Mace, and just see, so you just, keep quiet a moment while I just read out what everyone's going to be making today we are going to be playing with rice We're going to count all the spoons I love that someone wants to do some mixing making soup yum wants to hide the spoons around the house and then find them what a great idea making soup we're going to be banging pots and pans with a six-month-old. I love that idea. Mixing soup, lovely. We're going to make porridge and soup in the tough spot. Mmm, delicious. We are going to do lots of water play with our spoons and make some spells. Ooh, we were just talking about making some <laughs> potions too. Yeah. Make a mud kitchen outside. I love that. We're in a restaurant. Lovely. We're going to count all the spoons, potions in the bath, banging, potions, garden soup. Oh, doesn't that sound wonderful? We're going to make some music. We're going to scoop. We're going to water. I'm really sorry if I missed every, anybody, but this all sounds lovely. It sounds like these spoons have really sparked your play. I think they've given you lots of lovely ideas. I've even seen someone say about making puppets. What a lovely idea. You could turn your spoons into puppets. Maybe ask your grown-up first before you start decorating them because they might could, need them. You could get a lot a load of pens and colouring pens and mm -hmm. like like draw a face on them and then and then draw their body. That would be nice, but we'd have to ask our grown up first, wouldn't we? Yeah. We don't want to ruin the spoons. And someone is saying an egg and spoon race. Lovely. Okay, yeah. well I hope we have given you lots of ideas today to go off and play with your spoons. We're gonna go and do some potions. Have a lovely time. I would really, really love to see what you get up to with your spoons today. So if you're grown up can take a photo of your play if you could send it to me it doesn't have to have your child's face in it uh, just seeing what you're getting up to would be great i would love you to share it with me with play hooray play prompts or please do join our community page over on facebook which is a great space where you can share and maybe inspire some other parents looking for some ideas too so i hope that helps thank you very much for coming to play with me today and can you remember what we normally say at the end of our videos um Thanks for happy playing. Happy playing. Well done. Happy playing, everybody. Bye. Say bye, Mace. Bye. Bye. It's all